Welcome back to the breakfast meeting. I, when I was growing up, one of the things I've always wanted to do is be in some kind of, you know, Broadway musical, you know, something in the arts, sing, dance, uh, but I couldn't sing, neither could I dance. <laughs> but in the studio, I've got some people who are pretty talented who are going to tell us about Bantu Arts. I have with me Stephen Kasamba, who's the director and producer of Bantu Arts UK uh, Foundation and Adungu Tail Musical, which is going to be happening very soon. And on one side, I've got Warren Hayes, who was clear to tell me that it's Hayes with E-H-E-Y-E-S. There's Correct. no tax men listening, are there? <laughs> Absolutely. He's an actor and professional dancer. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, it's gentlemen. A long, a long time. I would love to know about uh, Bantu Arts. What is it? For the person who just doesn't know, what is Bantu Arts? What are you guys about? And uh, uh, tell me everything about the inception, even. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you, Victoria. Thanks you. Thanks, MBS. Thank you for inviting us at this lovely, beautiful studio. And um, yeah, so Bantu Arts is uh, an entertainment and production company that uh, first registered or based in the UK. And we thought we can extend Bantu Arts to Africa. As we know the origin of Bantu, we are the Bantu speaking mm -hmm. people. So that's where the name Bantu Arts comes from. But then we add on a little bit of the arts, but we specialize in promoting Africa, Uganda specifically, music, dance, and drama. Mm -hmm. And it's a community mm -hmm. organization. That's yes. absolutely beautiful. But can you tell me a little more on the journey of yes. Bantu Arts, uh, I guess, from its inception <laughs> and also to becoming this prominent, uh, you know, promoter of African arts? Yes. Um, actually, my journey started from the time I was in Uganda. I was born in Uganda um, and um, I've always wanted to, to do performing arts. I've, every time somebody play a drum, it hits in my heart. Mm. Uh, but when I was studying here, we studied boarding schools. So at that age, within the 19, no, my age, <laughs> I won't mention them. Um, we're, uh, what we do now, it was not classified as a job, as a career. Mm -hmm. Not until I went to the UK in 1997. And then I realized there is actually a platform to promote where we do, what mm -hmm. we do, where we come from. Um, as we always hear in the news, they talk about Africa. They put other things that are not really they are relevant, but mm -hmm. to us they're not. Mm -hmm. They don't bring the Africans to the world, rest of the world. And I realize um, it's up to us to start bringing and educating the world about Africa, about the music, about the cultures, about the dance, about the food, everything, every beautiful thing about Africa. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do it ourselves, nobody will do. So then I created Banti Watts. Um, and we've done quite a lot of uh, entertainment. We've done team building, corporate, gone to schools, teach you know, youngsters on how to play music, how to enjoy African flavors by shaking, by smiling, because Africa is all about smiles. Mm -hmm. That's why everything of us is color. Color brings you know, life. Uh, so then I started pushing Bantu Arts to the point that I thought, okay, now we've reached a level that people are trying to understand what Africa is about. We thought, let's come and enhance it even more. Come to the roots, bring Adungutel, get our local people, the youth, especially the young generation, which probably dominate the, the, dominate the entire production of the Adungutel, so that we can nurture them, empower them, and give them the next step, or offer them an alternative mm -hmm. to entertainment. Mm -hmm. And make it as a career, because Uganda is very, very talented. Very, very, very talented. Mm -hmm. That's where Bantu Arts is, and that's where Adungutel wow. comes in. Absolutely love the story, yes. which means that you get to meet all types of people. Yes. From dancers, yes. To singers, yes. people who are just wildly talented. Absolutely. Talking about one, yes. Warren Hayes, welcome to the breakfast meeting. Right, all, ki all types of people, <laughs> including me. <laughs> <laughs> including you, yes, of course. Uh, but you're a professional uh, uh, a dancer and an actor for that matter. But uh, how did you find uh, Bantu Arts? Well, How did you I'm not from round here. Yes. <laughs> um, I met uh, the Bantu Arts. We were already set up, and, and I, saw, I, I met them in London. And uh, I'm, um, uh, as you say, uh, uh, an artist, a performing artist, mainly in the uh, what we call the Western styles, mm -hmm. um, things like tap dancing, jazz dancing. So it's American, really, but mm -hmm. it's Europe and Africa mixed together. So it's not really American originally, sure. is it? You know. Sure. So, uh, so it's uh, so, so I was really a kind, you know, 
I, I had an affinity to it, you know, uh, already. Uh, but I was really interested in, in, in what they were doing because they were effectively promoting Uganda and Africa in general in, in, in the UK. So I went along to a rehearsal, made myself a nuisance, yeah, and uh, <laughs> they couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> no, it's just like coming here to Uganda. It's my first time. Everyone's friendly, you mm. see. So I went to the rehearsal, and usually it's like, you know what it's like? You know, don't yeah. you? You're in the, <laughs> you're in the <laughs> artist, <laughs> the creative side, and they're all, aren't they? Yeah, mm. careful what you say, you're producing this. <laughs> but the thing is, they weren't. They were, the, they were the Ugandan, hello, how are you? And, you know, willing to look at what I was doing. They, they, they called me Musisi. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. How did you get that name? Well, apparently <laughs> it means earthquake. So yes. uh, yeah, I, I prefer to, to think it, you know, that I'm pretty good power. I can move mountains and things like that. Uh -huh. But obviously, earthquake does leave a mess. So I'm wondering. I don't know. I'm not really sure. You know, you never know. It, it leaves a mess, doesn't it, afterwards? Yes. So <laughs> you never know, do you? Absolutely. Um, you know, yeah. Bantu Arts is not just obviously known for its dance and musicals mm. and just uh, the arts in particular. Yes. There is education involved. There Absolutely. are workshops involved. Can Absolutely. you tell me a little more about those? Um, we actually um, started doing workshops when there was demand uh, for, for it, especially with the school settings in the UK. You have uh, times where we have a, uh, a season called Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And Black History Month, it's something that has been created to promote uh, and raise awareness about African achievements mm -hmm. and those who are doing good in the, in the, in the, in the, in the community. So we come to, uh, to platforms like that when there is Black History Month, which is October. Then we have International Day. Then we have um, um, maybe they have, they're having a topic about Africa or having a topic about Uganda or East Africa. And um, so we tend to carry on doing that, but at the same time, we create our own events, whereby we create festivals and we invite people, we invite not only uh, Ugandans, but we have West Africans, we work with West Africans from Ghana, Nigeria, we have South Africans, and we bring them as a platform so that they can promote and work together as team building in that sense, so that we can raise awareness and add more value to Africa in general, mm. because what we do in Uganda might not be different to West Africans, but it's how we bring it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Others, their dances, uh, they da when they're dancing, they're da dancing straight, jumping up. Mm -hmm. Others, when they're dancing, they're more on the ground. You know, so it depends. But then we started, you know, pushing it to the schools. We do festivals as well, mm -hmm. and that's where the demand is. And we're still pushing. We're still working, you know, to make sure that we encourage uh, people to come and learn the new skill. Mm -hmm for not only as a skill, but for mental health, for well-being, for togetherness as we've had COVID-19, you know, so music brings us close together, not only Africans. We have actually Ugandan Indians who are in, your, in, wow. in the UK. Yeah. And when they look at the drum, they say, wow, where do you guys, where are you based? And so, so the interest is there. It's just we need to have platforms like NBS is giving us this airtime so that we can excel more we can you know educate more mm -hmm. about where we come from mm -hmm. you know not only political purposes but of course the climate mm -hmm. the animals the dancing <laughs> everything i clearly need yes. to come for lessons on i this just one. oh definitely you do <laughs> no but i need warren to teach me <laughs> <laughs> that is no for problem sure. no problem at all yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. i'd love to just uh, touch a bit on the reception mm. of uh, bantu arts especially yes. because a lot of Africans are out in the diaspora in yes. different places, and there is always a longing and a hunger for home, mm, in a sense, mm. or even the, the traditions, the dancing. Uh, Warren, what would you say uh, the reception of Bantu arts has been in the UK? Well, yes, um, it's funny you should say that, because yes, a a anyone who's, uh, who's, who's in the, as you say, say Ugandan and they're in, they're in London or they're in U the UK. In fact, we travel throughout the UK um, doing things like weddings and parties because, you know, that's one of our things we do, you know. Uh, not, you know, obviously that's not the education side, but that's something that makes people happy, you know. And, uh, uh, and, and so, you know, I, I, I'm in it as well and, they, and, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to get it right now because, they're, you know, but again, very, very, very accommodating, very welcoming and they go, well done, you know, I'm, not, I'm obviously not the best um, <laughs> African dancer in the world, but I have a go and they're, ple they're, they're, actually, they're pleased that I'm having a go and taking it seriously, mm -hmm. you know, and I do take it seriously, I know, I take the rhythm seriously because it's, it, th those rhythms are all the things that go into jazz and all the things I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. so, so not only am I passionate about tap dancing and lindy hopping and jive and all that sort and Charleston I'm also passionate about the original 
uh, traditional um, African dances, and it, it's amazing now. I'm, I've been watching some of the stuff down at the um, at the National Theatre. There's been some some, um, some some kids, you know, doing um, mm. you know, all age all age groups d d doing uh, d doing some dancing and, mm. and, and music and stuff because mm. they have open nights there and everything. So it's uh, you know it's fantastic. I'm I'm really glad I'm here. Mm. I must admit mm. it's. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know whether I'll, I'll go back or not. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. well, you already have Has that ruined it for the visa? <laughs> oh. You already have a Ugandan name. So, I mean, you're close enough. You're definitely close enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you were to look at the knowledge exchange, like you're saying, into mm. tap dancing, j jazz, and uh -huh. there's all these African dances. Can you imagine? Um, yeah. what, is th what is the exchange here? Uh, yeah. Are well, any Africans learning tap dancing? Yes, yes. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all fascinated. I'm teaching them a thing called jiving lindy hop. Oh, Have you wow. heard of it? Jiving Indie Hop. Lindy. No. Lindy. Lindy Hop. You obviously haven't heard of it. No. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it was, yeah. Well, Lindy Hopping is actually the name of an American dance, which, which in, in England we call jiving, mm -hmm. jive dance. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can see it in my head. Yeah, you, you know, and it's, and it's part of <laughs> the dance, but it also breaks away and it's uh, oh. it basically anything goes. You know, it's, mm. a, it, it, it's, a, it's a pot, you know, you, you put things in the stew, you know, like a stew, and you stir it together mm. and it comes out. So there's all sorts of things, ballet dance, it's Russian dance, there's, there's, there's even some Native American mm -hmm. wow. dancing, not much, wow. but there's some. <laughs> but it is an American dance, it's, it's yeah. an Afro-American dance, they mm -hmm. call it, Afro-American uh, vernacular dance. Mm -hmm. Very big in the um, vernacular revival, which is the beginning of the 20th century, and, and, and it leads to all the jazz and all the famous stuff. Even rap music now, and, and Afrobeat. Have you heard of it? Well, of course. Oh, yes. yes, there you go. Well, it's all, <laughs> Absolutely. It's all the same roots, you see. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, they, um, not only do I have an affinity to what the Ugandans are doing, but the Ugandans have an affinity to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this is it. I'm so excited. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. You mm -hmm. can imagine what you just said. All these things that, that, uh, that really mean something and, and adds... It, I think I think Steve said it right. Adds value, yeah. yeah. It adds value, and and sometimes you don't know even where the where the roots are from. And then when you know, I see something like the Runyege for have you heard of that one? Yeah. yeah? yeah. And, and and the Chisino, you know. <laughs> that, you know oh my God! And all these <laughs> rhythms, they go directly into the tap dancing. So yeah. so obviously when the slaves were taken over back in the bad history, you know, mm -hmm. the real mm -hmm. history of slavery, they actually took with them their original stuff, yeah. and it's still there, you wow. know. Yeah, and, and, and that's why popular music really is worldwide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, I have to come back to you, Stephen, and, yes. and ask, um, what was the necessity then mm. to come back home? What was the necessity to bring this value that Warren is talking about, to bring it back home? <laughs> Good you asked that, Victoria. Um, the thing is, I was born in Uganda, and as they say, there's no place like home. Yeah. Uganda is my home and I belong to Uganda, and I feel, I feel there's something I need to add to Uganda in the creative industry world. Um, there's so much I've learned in the UK. I've worked with a variety of artists, uh, including Warren. So Warren always wanted to come to Uganda for the past three years, wow. and I promised him, Warren, one day I'll bring you to Uganda, but I need to have a project going. I need to have something going. And um, so I made a commitment to him that I'll bring him to Uganda so that he can see the beauty and the nature Uganda has to offer. So for me, Uganda is my passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I see the art dying, uh, we have to bring it up. We have to push it. We have to show, we have to showcase it. And that's the reason why I brought the Adungu Tell back to Uganda. Mm. It was originally done in the UK in 1990s, in 2017. But then I thought, let me bring it to Uganda, to the source of the Nile, mm. to the source of culture, mm. right? Uh, so that I can nurture this young generation. We can do it together as a team and build it. Maybe one day we can do a Lion King of the Adungu Tell. Mm. We can tour it. Around. The plan is I want to tour it around Europe. I want to take it away from Uganda so that, because it's, it's a very musical play, it's got the dancing, it's got the music, it's got acting, the actors, the young generation, the young, please those who are coming to watch, come and watch these youth mm. who are amazing. And then we have partners that have helped us as well to kind of like bring it up in a sense. So for us, for me, it's my duty and it's my responsibility to promote Uganda in a positive way mm -hmm. through music through dance, and through a collective of artists that are based in Uganda. So many talented people mm -hmm. who are here. So if we work together, 
I bring them, each project brings a different value. Right. So to me, Uganda is my passion, and I'm here, and I'm going to do whatever I can with the platform I have in the UK mm -hmm. to make sure that we promote Uganda mm -hmm. positively mm -hmm. through music, dance, and drama. You use very specific words, which are quite impressive when you say you have a responsibility. Yes. Not many people feel they have a responsibility to yeah. bring anything back home. Um, but uh, before we talk about the tale itself, let, can yes. we talk about a little, uh, uh, just about the landscape yeah. creatively in yeah. Uganda, the arts, uh, uh, c the culture in terms of what would you, how would you compare uh, in terms of where we are here mm. at home mm. and where you are in the UK? Mm. What is the arts looking like? What are those intricacies that might be a little uh, different from what we're used to? So many things. Uh, one, uh, the theatre industry in the UK, everything is timed. Mm. So there's a, a systematic programming. The play is not supposed to last longer than a certain, p certain time, right? In Uganda, we do a lot of improvisation. No, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> improvisation, sometimes people get off script mm -hmm. and it takes longer. Mm -hmm. So the production, which is meant to be one hour, ended up being three hours, mm -hmm. you know? We have time. Mm -hmm. In the UK, everything is with time. Time is essence. Mm -hmm. So for us, we learn about timekeeping. We learn about the du durability. We learn about principles of theatre. Mm -hmm. We learn about a lot of things. And of course, and I'm not saying what in Uganda we do is wrong. No. Mm -hmm. But it's how we adapt. Because same thing as we Africans, we used not to have fabric. Yeah. Our clothing were different. Mm -hmm. Now we dress like Westerners. Mm -hmm. You understand? We learn something. Now if somebody walks on the street, uh, you know, half naked, you think, <laughs> you, it, it surprises you, doesn't it? So we have to learn all these things. So there's so much co co uh, um, comparisons and so, so much differences mm -hmm. between how we act. Uh, when it comes to the dancing, it's still the same thing, but it's all come down to who is creating, who is the producer, mm -hmm. what do you have mentally, what do you want the audience to see, what do you want to send a message to, or where do you want to send it to. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I look at any project or everything we do in the UK, I learn that, okay, a certain play is meant to be X number of times, because otherwise people switch off, yeah, right? Sure. If I'm going to do a dance, let's say it's an event, a private event, and I know I ask how many times, how many durations, what's, what are the speeches, or how long do you want us to perform? We cannot do a certain dance for a certain long length of time. Mm. And then bear in mind, we have artists that went to the UK for something else, and then uh, it's, very di it's a very, very difficult industry to be an artist in the UK, mm. especially in the arts industry. Financially, it's very, very, it's not accommodating for us. Sure. But we try. We try as much as we can. So um, you, get, you tend to get all these differences. Whereas here, you can bring a team of about 20 of all of them. And you pay them little, little, they'll be happy. Yeah. There, it's different. different. Financially, mm -hmm. that's where the difference is. Mm -hmm. There's so much similarities financially, uh, timing, um, product, production quality, uh, the team you have on there. You know, so many, many things. So, so, but this is the reason why we go. Mm -hmm. We come back, we learn. We go, we bring something, bring it here, educate each other in mm -hmm. that sense. Mm -hmm. That's why we dress like this. Mm -hmm. That's why we speak English. I was not speaking English. <laughs> I speak African. No, you absolutely. Know? <laughs> <laughs> what African is that? <laughs> but you speak of uh, challenges that, yes. that, that do persist in that regard and the differences. Uh, Warren, do you think you've experienced any challenges considering the fact that you know, you're coming into a completely different culture, a different way of thinking? Uh, you spoke about time and we know. <laughs> completely different. <laughs> Very yeah, different. Uh, that is the understatement of my week or two so far in <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> Absolutely different, yes. Yeah. But the key to it, for me, mm -hmm. is go with it. Go with the flow mm -hmm. and, and, and try and employ, you know, try, try and do your thing. Obviously, don't, uh, don't do all the bad bits, yeah. but you know, uh, <laughs> just encourage the good bits. Because, to be honest, if you've got the time, there's nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And it actually is something that it w is lacking. Mm -hmm. I think in the Western world, that 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 time taken because people are too oh you know it's time is money mm. do do yeah. do mm. and that actually is bad for creativity mm. yeah mm. so and, and my conclusion here well actually is why I'm so happy you can tell I'm happy can't you <laughs> um, because you know I, it, 
basically, every, the, the talent is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's so young. I know you're wondering why a young person like me is bothering with this. Quite young. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I'm, 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 I'm at least twice the age of, every, of, of the average cast, mm -hmm. you know, the average of the 36 in the cast, of, of the Dungu Tale musical. And, uh, and, and, but they're all ridiculously talented. You know, they've got... They've got um, uh, and, and as I say, uh, um, uh, as Steve said, time. Yes, they have spent time. They've spent time. And, and, and so, a, let's say, a 22-year-old has had the equivalent time of, a, say, a 30-odd-year-old in, 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 uh, in England, you know. So, um, so actually, they're very, very, not only talented, but actually quite experienced, too. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. They may have got some bad habits, as you <laughs> said. Well, not bad habits, different habits. Different habits. Yeah, <laughs> different <laughs> habits. Um, so how would you... Yeah, uh, and, and so there is a... Basically, there's a potential. There's a potential for Uganda in particular, or in Africa, mm. for Uganda to actually play a part in 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 the big world of the. Of the you know, we, we look at mm. Hollywood. We even look at was it Nollywood now? Don't we? <laughs> we look at other things, don't we? We look yeah. at all sorts of. You know, yeah. uh, you know, there's there's the uh, Bombay one, isn't there? Bo mm. Bollywood. Bollywood. There you go. Yeah. Which is not Bombay anymore, is it? <laughs> it's somewhere. So it's called something else. But um, but there's all these other things now. Are we going to have a you you go you you go wood? You go wood. You go I wood. think it's there. Is it? Is it yeah. already? I think I had the, the the building you go wood or something. Is it? Oh. Well, that's a nice yes. idea. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, uh, that's the other point. It's all about collaboration too. Mm. Yeah. Now that's a little a little tip that um, I think it's the same the world over, but especially for Ugandans because you've got so much potential. Mm. Wow. Wouldn't it be great if you all worked together? Ah, Absolutely. think about that. Yeah, yeah? yeah. especially I'm thinking because we're in the we're in the theatre now. Guess what we want? To, I think film's a good idea, don't you? Is mm -hmm. there anyone out there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What mm -hmm. do you think? Film? Wouldn't that be good? Because that's I, I, you know, I can see uh, again. I've done a little bit of homework on this. You've got some really good stuff, you know, ready. Absolutely. But it, it needs it needs showcasing, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. it's, it needs it, mm -hmm. and it needs developing. And it's all about working together, partnership. Anyway, that's enough of that. No, absolutely. I, mm. I fully agree with you. Mm. Um, but I want to touch on the Adungu tale itself. Oh. Let's get to the juice and the meat yes. of what is happening. Can you tell me about No, the you've musical, got to come please? and see it. No, we can't tell you. No. <laughs> you can't tell me? Buy a ticket. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> please. Yes. So actually, the Adungu tale, as I said earlier, it is a, a story that I came up with. Uh, way before actually came on, on theater. Uh, we did it in uh, a place called Enfield, and the theater is called Dugdale Theater. So, but before we did that, I had an idea of exploring this, these ideas of we as foreigners turning up in a country where we think the grass is green, mm. thinking that I'm gonna get money within two years, that's what, within two years I'm gonna fly back home. And then I thought, I faced with so much challenges in a sense of one where you stay, you don't know anybody, you don't have friends, you know, and um, we're used to leaving our doors open in Uganda. When you come in the UK, you open the door, you come in, you lock. Mm. There's no room for welcoming people. So I came up with this idea and said, okay, how can we just showcase the struggles we go through? Now, the story, before it came a Dungutel musical, the story was called Love Got in the Pearl of Africa. Oh. Okay. So you know the Pearl of Africa. Yes. yes. So we developed it. It was a 90 minutes production, suited for the only British community. Sure. So we dragged it on. It was a massively uh, beautiful, executed well, but of course I lacked manpower in a sense to bring the vision out. Uh, so I had a team of about, I think, six or si about six dance, actually less than six, about five dancers, and then the actor, the story is still the same. Uh, so it was 90 minutes. Then I thought, okay, so we experimented it. I thought, okay, I need to make this even much better. So while I was there, I thought, okay, let me look for somebody who's a good writer. Mm -hmm. Let me reach out to my fellow Ugandans so that I can take this production because it's, 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 <laughs> It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, let me look for somebody who's good at writing and you know, work with you know, our creative industry in Uganda. So I got a few people who put a script together. They, of course, the original concept is Love Got in the Pearl. Um, and then, but I wanted to, to re-adjust the original story mm. uh, so that I can 
have a concept that will fit in our community mm -hmm. to last longer than 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. So then I got a few people that they rewrote the script um, and, um, and then we added in more characters, we added in more dances, we added in music. Um, so it made to fit the audience. And this goes back to the creative. It depends on what you have in your mind. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wanted to sell, I wanted to bring something that would identify me as a creative or the producer and the people and the industry we are in. So once that was done, then we put the dancers together, we put the music together, and then before you know it, we have a two hour production. Wow. Uh, but the story itself, Adungu Tell, is about a child who is born in the Western world mm -hmm. by mixed parents. Mom mm -hmm. is black, father is white, who is Mr. Warren, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, but the, the woman faces exactly the same points I'm talking about, the migration. She didn't know where to stay. So the story is in there, so she disappeared. So when she disappeared, she left this beautiful child to her, to his, to her lovely father. Wow. So then the child is brought up, She's at the age of 19, 20, and she's trying to find her roots. But her roots is transcended within the instrument called the adungu, hmm. all right? So she travels to the, from the UK to Uganda with an instrument which can take her to her roots to come to a place called Arua in Uganda. That's where her parents are from. Wow. So to find her roots, hence the reason why it's called adungu, tell musical ancestral is Africa. I cannot wait. Uh, yeah. It sounds absolutely exciting. Yeah. Let's talk about the details. Yes. When, where, how, who oh. is allowed to come. Right. <laughs> Lovely. Well, well, everyone's allowed to come. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's a family show. It'd be nice if they brought some money and then paid for the <laughs> ticket. For the ticket. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, right. Well, well, we've got we've got we've got several levels of you know of, yes. of, of that, and it's all it's all about. Uh, we we do have a, a re an expensive hundred thousand uh, pound ticket. Sorry, no pound. Hundred thousand yeah. shillings. Shilling. Shilling. Yes. 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 The millionaire. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's the premier. That's mm -hmm. the opener. On that's the on the first of May. Of May. First of May. Um, but the following day, uh, on the second. There is uh, a, a special students opening day, twenty thousand only. Wow! I was about that. Oh yeah. Yes. So yeah. that's to see the, the, the show. Yeah. And then all the rest of the days, we've got both. We've mm -hmm. got the students can come. You know, oh, we've got family day. You know, mm -hmm. child. You know, uh, um, a, a matinee basically, mm -hmm. uh, twenty thousand for the children, uh, and then uh, we've got uh, thirty thousand for adults. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the evening show, which is thirty thousand for adults. Um, and of course, you can you can get a VIP ticket, <laughs> which is like only me. fifty thousand. That's <laughs> half the price of the premiere, Absolutely. and your VIP. Well, yeah. you can't go wrong. Absolutely. Can you? Absolutely. So it literally comes from the first to the sixth of May. Okay, so it's an uh, entire week. It's an entire week. Uh, we would we would have loved to do more, uh, but limited with too much we can give out and people just switch off and so on. So we thought, okay, we do the first as an opening, which is a premiere. We do the second uh, in the morning, uh, which is a student opening. And then we do the delegates on, a, on the third, which is a Friday. And then on a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we do two shows every day. The students, which is in the afternoon, and in the evening is for the adults. Um, and uh, of course, they can buy the tickets, mm -hmm. go Momo Pay, um, which I think, uh, I don't know it on top of my head, mm -hmm. but you can buy tickets uh, on our social media platforms. We have all of them. Um, and um, of course, the idea for us, the theater to fill, mm -hmm. we want people to come and experience, see mm -hmm. what their friends, their family can put on stage. This is a story of its own. It's a different musical production. I speak with passion about it because it's mm -hmm. very interesting. It's a family event. So bring your children, mm -hmm. bring your family, uh, bring even the older ones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and the costs are really reasonable, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. The only one which is expensive is the premiere, which is on the first day. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all taking place at the National Theater, mm -hmm. which is UNCC, mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Well, it's about to be quite exciting for all yes. those that are going to be showing up. Uh, Warren, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Uh, Stephen, yes. also thank you very You're much welcome. for joining us. Thank you, Victoria. We're looking forward to seeing this beautiful story unfold. Absolutely. I am sure looking forward to it as well. Lovely. Thank I've you so much. I've got your ticket, by the way. You Victoria. do? I do got your ticket, yes. yes. 
I've got your ticket. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure I will also <laughs> see you there. I'd better see all of you there as well. Oh, uh, oh. Yes, if sir? you like it, please mm -hmm. tell everyone so, you know, before it finishes. But if you don't like it, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sure talking, that is for sure. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Breakfast Meeting. I'm Victoria Sevilla, your host for today. It's been good. God bless you.